In this video, we're going to look at solving some harder equations, so some equations that might have two, three, even four steps involved before we can find out what our unknown is. Okay, let's get started. On the first one here, our unknown value here is h. Okay, and we've got 3h plus 2 is equal to 17. So I'm going to show you how to do it using both a flow chart and um, algebraically, and you can choose uh, whichever method that you like the best. So uh, using the flow chart first, we start with h, and the first thing that happens to h is it's multiplied by 3, because we've got that 3h there. And then we add 2 to it, and we get an answer of 17. Okay, so just like we did in the last video, we're going to now work backwards to find out what h is. So we're going to start with our answer, which is 17. And then we're going to subtract 2. And we're going to divide by 3 to find out what h is. So let's do that maths. 17 subtract 2 is 15. Divide that by 3 and you get an answer of 5. So uh, the solution here is h is equal to 5. Now, writing that algebraically, uh, this is what we have to think about doing. 3h plus 2 is equal to 17. So the first step that I want to undo is this plus 2. So I want to do the inverse, which is subtract 2. And whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. So I have to subtract 2 from the right-hand side as well. So if I add 2 and subtract 2, that gives me 0. So I'm just left with 3h on the left-hand side. 17 minus 2 is 15. Okay, so now I've got a new equation, 3h is equal to 15. So 3 times h, the opposite of times in by 3 is dividing by 3. So divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3, we know, just leaves us with 1h. So h is equal to 15 divided by 3, which is 5. And good news is, is that the same thing we got with our flow chart, okay? Last thing you should do when solving an equation, as we saw in the other examples, is you should always check to see that your solution is correct. So our original equation was 3h plus 2 is equal to 17. But I got a solution, solution of h is equal to 5, so I'm going to substitute that in. 3 times 5 plus 2 is equal to 17. Let's see, is that true? 3 times 5 is 15. Add 2 is looking good because 15 add 2 is 17, and I've got the right hand side, or sorry, the left hand side equaling the right hand side, so I know I've done my work correctly. Okay, next example. So if I were to say this in words, what I have here is y minus 4 divided by 2 equals 15. So right, let's write that out as a flow chart. Y minus 4, then divide by 2, and my answer is 15. Okay, so if you want to go, go ahead and see if you can work that out on your own by working backwards, you can. Otherwise, let's solve that together. So I start with my answer, and I go backwards. So instead of dividing by 2, I'm timesing by 2. And instead of subtracting 4, I'm adding 4 to get my answer. So 15 times 2 is 30. If I add 4 to that, I should get an answer y is equal to 34. Okay, let's solve it algebraically and see what we get. So because the first, the first thing that happens to y is we subtract 4 and then we divide by 2. So when we work backwards, we have to do the opposite of dividing by 2, which is multiplying both sides by 2. Okay, now when I multiply and divide something by 2, they cancel out. So all I'm left with is y minus 4 on the left hand side, and then 15 times 2 is 30. And now I've got a nice simple equation that you probably are really good at solving by now. So y minus 4 is equal to 30. We do the inverse, which is to add 4 to both sides. Okay, minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So on the left, I get y is equal to 30 plus 4 is 34. So my solution for this one is 34. Let's check. Okay, y minus 4 divided by 2 equals 15. y I got was 34, so substitute your value for y in. 
And let's work it out. 34 minus 4 is 30 divided by 2. You can probably already see 30 divided by 2 is 15. And 15 is equal to 15. So we're good. Okay, this is a little bit different to uh, the last equation. Um, if, we, if we switch back to that one, you'll see that the divided by 2 is dividing this whole thing by 2. But in this case, we're only dividing d by 3. So the order that we do these operations changes. Watch, when I say this one, I go d is divided by 3 and then subtract 5. So d, I start with d, and then whatever d is, I divide it by 3, and I subtract 5, and I get an answer of 10. Okay, so I would say when, when we use a flow chart, the hardest thing here is actually setting up this flow chart working backwards probably isn't the problem. Okay, so let's work backwards. Start with my answer. Instead of subtracting 5, I need to add 5. Divide by 3, the opposite is times by 3, and we get a solution for D. Okay, 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 times 3 is 45, so D is equal to 45. Let's do this algebraically. Okay, the first thing I want to do is um, deal with this minus 5 here. And in order to do that, I've got to add 5 to both sides. Okay, minus 5, add 5 is 0. So on the left, I just have D minus 3. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Now I've got... D divided by 3, okay, so the opposite of dividing by 3 is timesing by 3 on both sides. Those will cancel out, and you're just left with D is equal to 15 times 3, which is 45. Okay, good, good news, we've got 45 for both of our methods. Okay, and let's do a quick check just to triple check that we've got the right answer. Okay. D divided by 3 minus 5 is equal to 10. D we got was 45, so we substitute that in. 45 divided by 3 is 15 minus 5. We can already see 15 minus 5 is definitely 10, and 10 is equal to 10. Okay, good work. One last example for us to do. Okay, so we've got uh, brackets in this case. Now there's two ways that you can go about doing this. Um, the first thing you could do if you wanted to is you can just expand the brackets. So by expanding the brackets, I'm gonna multiply six by both of the terms inside the brackets. So six times W is six W, and six times minus one is minus six and that's equal to 30. That's maybe the, the kind of easiest way to deal with these uh, equations with brackets, is to just multiply the brackets out. And then you've got a simple equation here that you know how to solve already. So we've got 6w minus 6 is equal to 30. The first thing we want to deal with is this minus 6. So the opposite then is to add 6, and we add 6 to both sides. Okay, so we end up with 6w is equal to 36. And 6w, remember, means 6 times w. So the opposite is to divide both sides by 6. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. So 1w is equal to 36 divided by 6, which is 6. Well, there's a lot of 6s in that question. Okay, so we end up with w is equal to 6. Now we can do a flowchart as well if we'd like. Um, if you want to do a flowchart, I, I would still suggest expanding the brackets first and then going on to the flowchart. So from this point, we had 6w minus 6 is equal to 30. So what we did is we started with w, we multiplied by 6, and then we subtracted 6, and we got an answer of 30. Okay, so working backwards, and I'll just change the color here so you can see it a bit clearer. So 30, 
add six, divided by six will give us W. So 30 plus six is 36, divided by six is six, okay? So W is equal to six. And we can do a quick check by substituting w is equal to 6 into our equation. Now you can use this equation or this equation, doesn't really matter. We do the first, what we started with originally. Okay, so I'll substitute w with 6 minus 1 is equal to 30. Now remember order of operations, do what's in the brackets first. So 6 minus 1 is 5. So 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 6 times 5 is 30. So we've done it correctly. So W is equal to 6. Now there is one other way that you can solve equations with brackets. So you can watch this if you want, or you can stop the video at this point. It's up to you. But if you want to see a different way to do that, uh, just sort of keep watching. OK, so the other way we could have thought about this is um, we don't have to expand the brackets. We can say, all right, I started with W. Because I do the brackets first, the first thing I do is subtract 1. Then I multiply everything by 6. And I get 30. So working backwards, I start with 30. I divide by 6. And then I add 1. So 30 divided by 6 is 5 add one is six. And you know from what we just did, W is equal to six. So that's a correct answer. So that's how you would do it without expanding the brackets first. Algebraically, this is what it looks like. So W minus one times six. So the last thing we did was times six. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna divide both sides by six. So that will get rid of that there because six times anything, so six times this bracket divided by six is just one. So we're just left with W minus 1 on the left-hand side. And then 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. Now, where this might be a problem is if you don't get a whole number when you divide here. So luckily, we got an answer of 5. But if you start getting into decimals here, you might make it a little bit more complicated. And you might just want to expand the brackets first, like we did before. OK, now we've got W minus 1 is equal to 5. So I've got to add 1 to both sides. Uh, that leaves me with W is equal to 6, which we know is the correct answer. So that's just a different way to do equations with brackets. You can choose uh, whichever way you want, whichever way you're most comfortable with.